items we're allowed to bring oil eggs breadcrumbs Arnold Palmer's for him PBR for me and rice so all the protein all the meat uh, is going to come from the fish that we catch so this is our last meal it's we're gonna set the clock six o'clock Friday night and uh, ready to start this challenge yeah. uh, we're gonna finish up this meal and get the tent set up We set our tent up and we totally forgot that last time we were camping yeah we broke our tent last time we were camping <laughs> so yeah this is gonna be fun this is not the way I wanted to start the challenge but we've got a firewood propping it up we got a cooler propping up the other side um, yeah the wind's nice so yeah we got that uh not going for us but who said it was going to be fun i mean easy we're fun so we're walking around the site and we're finding some of the naturals that we can eat and right here we got plantain let's find the piece that's clean here try that it's delicious he said we got some dandelion right here big that piece is big old dandelion and we found our... Uh, the mustard, garlic. Garlic mustard. I never remember. This be, might be too dark to see. But these little guys here. Little circle leaves. And the, the bottom's a little bit lighter color. So yeah, they're edible. You know what else we found? What? Raspberries? Yep. Okay, I've located the raspberry patch. So we'll be down there a little bit later. Good morning, we're out of Scott's Run Lake and we've got our first catch of the day. Little yellow perch, but he's not gonna fill us up. We gotta let him go and see what else we can catch out here. Oh, that's a big one. 
that the bass? Mm -hmm. Just hooked a little bass under that log, nice big one. We just got our first sunfish for the for the pan, so we got something to eat anyway. Oh, got bag bass on. Get the net. Horse him this way. Got him. All right. Look at that big boy. All right. I'm gonna let you go. Oh my gosh, that was a nice little flip you did there. Downstream, and we got another big bass in this tiny stream. Yep, yeah, let him go. Yeah, that's money. It's be hard to get the brookie again. Okay, nice. Got him. That's a big one. That's a big brook trout, buddy. Wow. Stream and just hold him until he gets away from you. Here he goes. That's a big one. It's a big brook trout. Look at that. What do we got here? Fish on, fish on. Here's the net. Here's the net. <laughs> I snuck you out of the Pass on. Yep, a little largey. Swim up up here, flip him up here. There he's gonna. Bill dance it. Bill dance. It's my mom. All right. There you go. We just walked up. Up. Don't lose your worm. Is he still on the hook? Okay. Let your bass go. There he goes. Nice work, buddy. Oh, there's a whole bunch of nice perch right there. Big perch. Where? Right here. Right where he just swam off to. We just came walking up the creek. We've got two sunnies on the stringer and we need a little bit more for our lunch before we head back to camp. And maybe we'll even get a perch. Yeah, I'd like to catch a perch, but we've got Did big storms coming. Yeah, I saw a pickerel on there too. Little one. But... He's got a perch. I mean, look at that bad boy. Yeah, we're eating him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're eating him. All right, we'll get him on the stringer. Not gonna get fat on this diet. So we're back out on the lake. We went out to Hopewell Lake. Uh, we've got four sunnies in this bucket over here. You see that? For dinner. I'm gonna try to go get some trout. We just came off the lake and let's see if I can do this without falling. And there's the dam, and then there's a little creek up here that has uh, we've seen trout and bass in here before. So we're gonna see if we can go uh, get something tasty. I'd be lying if I didn't say this was not going well. I need coffee. Going through withdrawal from caffeine, severe headache. Might have to go in for that one, buddy. You might have to go in. Careful, take your time, keep the tension on the rod. That's the most important thing. Okay, you got him, you got him. Put your finger in that boy. Beautiful. Yes, let's go. Let's show them up. What do you got there? Yeah, baby. Let's get them. I them the wrong way. Opposite way. I got them. You got the hook out already? Yep. Look it at this. just popped out. Wow. Beast. All right, let's let them go, okay? You want to let them go? You're in further. Let's see if the camera can. There you go. Let's let them go. Let's just get them out of here. Good job. Nice. Oh man, look at these. That thing is going to get eaten right away. Bam! Fish on. Yes, sir. Oh, did you lose your frog? Nope. Sweet. It's got a, you found the little frog. I don't know much, but I know one thing. Bass love these little frogs. Bring that back over here. 
Oh. I had just had one on. There he is. Got him. Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, it's a large one. You're not supposed to be in here, Mr. Largemouth. It's a good one. There we go. Yes, look at that one. Oh, that what? Time we were here, I saw that guy and I had him on. You know this guy? What's his name? Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Hi, Gerald. Pass on, pass on. No, that's a smaller one. Mine is bigger. I'm you can you can pull them up. Got a bunch of plantains up here, bud. They're the ones with the little stalks and the ribs. These guys, the ribs. These are edible. Eat the leaves or the seeds. Plantain. Trout on, trout on. Oh my gosh, let me get down there. Hold on. Oh wow. That's really cool. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, let it go. Nice. Brook trout. Brook trout. Yep. <clears throat> Look at the colors on that one. Beautiful. Big bass on. Get them out of the trees. Give it to him. Give it to him. Get him out of there. You got it. You got it. Oh. <laughs> you got your hook. It just popped out. Uh, rough. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Forgot to tell you guys. When we were fishing, we daddy parked in the wrong spot. So, we got her driving. Gotta, you know. Yes, sir. Out on Hopewell Lake after dinner fishing jaunt and frogging jaunt. Catching a few. I'll post some pictures of all the fish we're catching. Not going to run each one live on the camera because we're not really going after size. We're going after eaters, which is a little different than what we normally do. But. So we'll post a bunch of still shots of them so we don't uh, ruin your whole weekend.
taking a note out of Extreme Philly's book doing some micro fishing here at French Creek. Tons of little minnows in here. All right, let me get back to my pond, my lily pad hopping frog. My brain is so shot without the caffeine. Like I said, that's been the biggest uh, challenge for me anyway, doing this video with no caffeine. Oh, exactly. But uh, yeah, so the six items, we've decided the flower, this is busted. Um, we could do without the flour and the eggs. The oil is where we get our fat, so we can just fry up the fish that way. The rice packets are, uh, you know, they're really a game changer. Without them, it's really, uh, you're really on the edge. And I've done that myself, but with an eight-year-old, that's a little harder to do. So, um, rice packets are awesome. We just use Noors, I think they're called, they're like a dollar. Uh, now with inflation, like two dollars. <laughs> but they come in there like seasoned. So we get our sodium from that too. That's the other important thing is to, if you're gonna do this old, this, uh, this survival type stuff, do your homework. So I've done a lot of racing, ultra endurance, multi-day stuff, raced across Alaska in the winter. So I, I know I, I can do it a lot less, but I'm doing it with an eight-year-old and trying to teach him, uh, teach him some stuff. So yeah, you need your protein, you need your fat, you need your carbs. So figure out how you're going to get those and how hard you want to work for them. But yeah, definitely will teach, teach anyone to appreciate their food and refrigeration and preservation and all those things that come with society. It's got a bass on. That didn't take long. Get him out of there, you got a big rod. Get him out of there. Tighten the drag if you have to. Okay, go ahead in for him. You gonna take your sandal off? Okay. Nope. Ah, oh, we lost him. All right, we'll get him next time. You lost your bait too? Yeah. Ah, oh, he caught a little micro uh, sun, little baby sun, tiny sunfish, and he's using Dad, it for can you bait. Pick that up with a we have six hours left in our challenge, and we're going to the fishing pier. I don't even know what we're trying to catch at this point. I think we have enough food, so we're just trying to uh, plan our uh, celebration. We decide we're going to go out to eat tonight, and we're going to go to a uh, all-you-can-eat place and get ice cream. That's all we know. Got a nice bass on the worm. Beautiful large mouth up on the pier. Gonna let him go. Climb through and <laughs> holy cow, it is a big one. Big sunfish. Show him up. Nice one. Look at his lip. Yeah, he's been caught before. Yeah, he's been caught. Throw them in? Yeah. Bluegill? Is that what that is? No, green sunfish. That's a green because of the blue in the front. Does mm -hmm. that mean green sunfish? Learning. All right, we got a frog. Get a green frog? Green frog. Sweet. Okay, rinse them off. Did you spear them? Yep. Oh, show him the spear. Hold on, let's get this all on video. So here's the spear that he's working with. I thought I lost it. Okay, so we got this frog. Uh, we already dispatched it, so to dispatch it, I put it on ice, numbs it down, and then I take it by its hind legs, and I slam it up against the rock on its head. That kills it humanely. So to clean it, you're really only eating the legs. I'm going to make a slice. Okay, so we're going to make a cut somewhere across here. And you're just trying to cut the skin is what you're doing. Make sure you can see this. So what do you do again? You just take tearing the skin off the legs. That's what you're doing. See that? Comes That's what off. you want. That's the good part. So then you cut right behind all that. 
Yeah, she had eggs. Well, it's after July 1st, so you can't harvest a green frog in Pennsylvania until after July 1st. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. sure you're looking at it. Cut right below the bottom joint. Those look tasty. So that's the frog legs. Come with me. I'm going to rinse it here. Okay. And we're not going to put anything on this. We're going to take this and we're going to throw it right in the bacon fat like that. And let that fly. Let's see book trap that we're cooking. Does your eight year old do this? <laughs> Got his trout, got his frog legs. Can I try half of this? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's hot. It's good. Now there's bones in them, watch the bones. Like the big fat part? Yeah, the, the, the bones run up here, run up here, but that's all meat and off the bone. Good? Mm, not too shabby. <laughs> we usually bread them, but we didn't bother breading them. We figured this is camping. Things taste good if you work hard, right? So we had a good time up here at our 48 hour survival challenge. And uh, I think the best thing I learned, the biggest struggle I had was coffee, clearly. I think Kevin handled the, the uh, competition better than I did for the most part except for missing kids right missed other kids dad's not fun um, but other than that we had a good time right succeeded came here met our goals caught a lot of fish covered a lot of water which is what we do cover as much water as possible get to uh, experience all the different bodies of water understand where the water comes from the headwater of the lake the little creek that we fish for trout when they stock kind of understand how the whole, um, you know, the whole program works, the whole, I don't know what you call it, you know, I'm still delirious, I need more caffeine, so we're going to close this out, thanks for watching, um, like and subscribe, we're working hard at putting out better content, well we do always have great content, we're trying to figure out how to become actors and how to like work cameras, but anyway, thanks for putting up with our lack of tech skills and acting skills and hope you enjoyed the video you got anything to say peace peace out so this is how much he pushes himself He is out.